proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kid's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He should draw the string all the way back. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest men in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim aiming for the kid. Right back at you. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery and the kid'll feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job.
some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Robs a scumbag of his last meal. Kid puts him out of his misery. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. I'm assaulting like crazy. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core his on the monument there, then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right, except no one else showed up. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's got to put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown.